2007 started out cold as a deep freeze hit the state, making impromptu ice sculptures out of trees and shrubs throughout the valley. In mid-January, the driver of a big rig lost his way and ended up crashing into a dairy. The sheriff's SWAT team was called and the incident ended without serious injury. By mid-month, the cold weather returned, spreading freezing temperatures over much of the Central Valley and causing crop damage to the citrus groves on Stanislaus County's west side. Shortly after the freeze, area farmers packed the Ag Center to hear the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture outline the 2007 Ag Bill, which for the first time included language about California's specialty crops. Early in February, federal drug enforcement agents raided a home in West Modesto that had been turned into a huge pot-growing compound and seized a large amount of marijuana in the process. The night of February 15th turned deadly when three mass robbers shot and killed a convenience store clerk on Pellendale Avenue in North Modesto. The victim was seen on store surveillance video complying with the robbers' demands right before he was shot. By mid-February, the Townsend Opera players presented a beautiful and colorful opera in Rigoletto. A Turlock boy fell ill after eating peanut butter that was the subject of a nationwide recall after dozens of people across the country became sick after eating the Peter Pan brand. In early March, firefighters were called to a McHenry Avenue business for a four-alarm blaze that destroyed the bad boy car audio store in the early morning hours. Also in early March, Gallo Winery founder Ernest Gallo died at his Modesto home. Gallo founded the largest winery in the world with his brother, Julio. On March 13th, a Modesto girl was shot as she stood on the front porch of her home in a Modesto neighborhood. A couple of days later, police surrounded a suspect car nearby and took a man into custody for the drive-by shooting. A few days later, residents of a mobile home park were evacuated from their homes as a severed gas line spewed natural gas into the air. Mobile homeowners rallied as their rents were being raised to unaffordable levels. The efforts eventually led to rent control ordinances for Modesto. In early April, Senator Barbara Boxer met with residents and area officials at the site of the Tuolumne River Regional Park and promised to make funding for the park a priority in Washington. It was with great relief that city and county law enforcement officials announced a huge drop in the number of stolen vehicles in our area, taking us off the number one spot in the country for car thefts. At the 1st of May, the news came that Hershey's Oakdale chocolate plant would close, causing the loss of 600 jobs. The alarming rate of honey beehive decline led Congressman Dennis Cardoza to call for more funding for research into what's causing the problem. Cardoza led reporters and ag leaders on a tour of a Merced County watermelon field, which relies on honeybees for pollination.